Hi, I'm Stacey from Music Box on Minds Web Scene and I'm with Vic and Mike from Pure Sale. Ow! <laughs> How are you guys? I'm good, I'm good. Are you enjoying Glasgow? Yes, yeah, it's been so far. It's chilly, rainy, but uh, just a lot of kids outside, so that's good. What did you have a for those who don't know or who are just finding out about you, could you give your role in the band and a little bit of the band's history? Uh, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Vic. I, you guys want to go on that? I just need a group of Yeah. <laughs> we can actually do this in the hallway. No, you guys are good. We're going to stand. Okay, take two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Mike, I play John. Yeah. And uh, I'm Vic, I sing, play guitar, and uh, we're brothers, forever. One touch brothers. <laughs> it's true. Awesome. Not lying. So how did the bands come about and stuff? And um, yeah, it started out actually just with uh, me and Mike. Um, and uh, you know, we've been playing since we were young. And uh, pretty much just wrote a record together. First piece of our record was just, just me and Mike. And then, um, you know, we released that and then we started touring, found, uh, found Tony and Jaime and completed the band. And now, you know, we're all doing records together, so it's been good. Awesome. How do you think the band has progressed from your first album, A Player for the Dramatic, and your newest release, Celtic Uh, Well, we've learned a lot from you know, just touring and touring with us. And uh, just learning from other bands and, you know, how, how it works and how to be treated and, you know, a lot of bands, um, we've learned what not to do and <laughs> what, um, what to do. So, I mean, yeah, it's just experience and, you know, pushing ourselves to do better and better has uh, molded us. Yeah, I mean, between the, re the two records, I'd say, like, you know, the first record had no touring experience, really, and then uh, the second record, we toured for a few years, actually. And uh, so that definitely came out in the, new, in the latest record, a lot more... Uh, Kind of live energy, so um, you know, for our next record, we're definitely trying to capture that as well. Selfish Machines debuted at number one on the Billboard Seekers chart. How did you guys react and how did you expect it? Um, stoked, yeah, it's a big old party. Yeah. We're pretty, we're pretty happy. <laughs> um, got a plaque in my room. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. It was, uh, it was really cool to see. Uh, you know, a uh, uh, growth of fans, you know, uh, that kind of was a good sign for us and, and give us a little more confidence to keep going, you know. Are you in the process of writing a follow-up album or are you waiting for a bit before the next release? Uh, are we waiting for a bit? Um, That's pretty much what we did all summer is just write and write. And, uh, yeah. Right before this tour we were just at home writing and uh, I think uh, early next year we're going to try to wrap up the running process and getting this studio. Yeah, I mean, we're, we tried to make this one a little quicker because uh, the first record, you know, we, we toured for a few years on it, mm -hmm. um, trying to build the band a little bit and get a fan base. And then um, now that we've got two records, you know, we're kind of got the ball rolling better. So this one's going to be a little quicker release, you know. So. Yeah. You've recently covered Bruno Mars, Just the Way You Are for Punkles Pop 4. What made you choose that song and what would you like to cover in the future? I think uh, Bruno Mars songs for me, I, I always loved his voice ever since when I first heard him. Um, it had a similar range to mine, so it was kind of fun for me to sing, you know, like just for like, you know, when they came on, on the radio or something. And uh, so, yeah, and, you know, when I, when I heard him too, I was like, man, this guy has some soul and he's actually an amazing singer, you know, he's not just some fabricated person, you know, he's, he's got some talent, so I... I respected it and I, I like his songs. So. It was cool for me too because <coughs> if you listen to the original, there's really no drum beat. It's just like hits. Yeah, it's just like kicks like the whole time. So I could just, you know, I basically got to do whatever I wanted. Uh, it was cool to work with. Uh, yeah, it was cool to work with John Feldman on that too. Um, you know. Don't tell them to kick Mike's ass. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, I've never been really pushed by a producer to, you know, it was, it was like take after take, like, all right, Mike, yeah, that's good. Do that, <laughs> do this, and try this. And, like, Mike was just like, let's do this. Like, do some dang out, whatever, uh, whatever 
Yeah. Yeah. The band just seemed to feel the records and August better. What made you go with them and how did you feel the band progressed since? Um, well, we've been with Equal Vision Records for uh, almost a decade now, you know, it's been like seven or eight years. And uh, so, you know, we still have a, a lot of love for them, and they, they're an amazing label. Um, but, you know, we, the band is progressing, and we wanted to, uh, you know, keep trying to expand. And we saw that Fearless had a, a really big team, you know, a lot of people doing uh, a lot of different things. and. Um, I uh, thought that'd be a good idea for us, you know, having a ton of people working different areas for us, you know, while we're on tour. There you go, I'm just gonna get these guys a fight in the cold. So far it's been awesome. <laughs> they, uh, they've been very active and, and, and uh, I love that. So, um, yeah, it's been good. First thing we released with them is a uh, very large place. So, thank you. <laughs> You've toured with some big bands, like with Nice and Men, and Days to Remember, and Bring With The Horizon. What's it like touring with them, and who would you like to tour with in the future? Um, well, actually, we did the last tour up again with Day to Remember, and that was uh, completely different. You know, and, uh, this is like bringing us back to like small clubs, and you know, barricade, and who gets on stage. So I, I actually prefer this one better. <laughs> I, like, I like, you know, little shows. Being like close to the crowd, but I mean, it's fun to be both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's many bands coming up just now. Who do you think stands out, and what advice would you give to bands that are trying to get noticed? Um, well, we're actually uh, in the US, we're about to do a tour, and it's going to be with a band called Let Live, and they are the first band I've heard in a while who. Uh, when I first heard him, I was like, oh man, this band is doing something different, and uh, they don't care about what is happening out there, you know, and, um, you know, also on their live performance, you know, they kind of just, you know, they're totally just themselves, they're not trying to do, you know, anything to please someone else, you know, it's all, it's all like personal just energy on them from themselves going, going crazy on stage, so I would say that's, that's a good, good, pretty good piece of advice for any band out there, you know, don't kind of like, just don't try and follow what you're seeing, you know, just try and, you can be inspired by things, but um, make, them their, make them your own, you know. Good advice. Do you plan on doing your own headline UK tour in the near future? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, we would love to. Um, we have a small window uh, between next summer and when we record at the beginning of the year. We're hoping to do some overseas stuff. Uh, I can't promise yet, but I hope Really so, a lot of kids have been asking if they want like a longer set. Mm. Or, yeah. You guys played for five minutes. <laughs> <yet>. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully soon. What does the band have planned for over the next few months? Um, well, we go home for a couple weeks and prepare for a co-headliner, co-headliner with Miss May I in the U.S. And uh, so we'll be running that for about a month and a half, and then. Uh, Hopefully wrap up uh, the writing process and then record a new record. You're known for your Hispanic roots and at Warped Tour you had scale and dressed in the traditional mariachi clothes. Would you consider doing what the Bronx have done and have a mariachi on to Eagle Band? <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> that would be pretty easy for it. We could probably just call up one of our uncles and just have them. It'd be pretty. I mean, if, if they, they didn't beat us to it. <laughs> I, I hear they actually tour, it's just... Yeah, they're coming back in the next tour. month. That's yeah. awesome. We need to do a tour with them. Kind of maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe we'll just make up our own and support them. Yeah. That would be an awesome tour. tour. <laughs> 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 do you have anything you'd like to say to anyone watching just to finish things up? Uh, yeah, uh, don't do drugs. <laughs> Stay out of gangs. Yeah, more condoms. Look both ways when you cross the street when you're in Europe, because you'll get killed, you know. And, uh, tobacco and, uh, what is the, what is it called? Marijuana? Yeah. <laughs> why, why do they mix that over here? <laughs> That's more of a question, but, uh. Well, I'm just confused. I've been wondering this whole time. You can write us in if you uh, have the answer. Yeah, if anyone knows. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Thank we love you so you. much, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>